So hi there, it's your man Baron again. We just killed an a hostile goblin, he dropped some loot. Meat, yeah we're going to take the meat, some coins, we're going to take them as well. And the sling, we don't want that. And a cut girl, we don't want that as well. Alright, so there's like a window we can look into it but we don't see anything at all. So where do we go now? We go to the north now. Because we're still like, ouch, that hit us. If the dragon covers his eyes, you you actually take damage. And by falling down that small ledge, we took damage. I mean, how bad is that? Okay. So, we're going into this direction. There's another goblin, I think, trying to attack us. Alright. Oh, see, I was too close to release the spell. What a pity. You can only use those spells when you're... Way. Hopefully, don't kill us. See? Ah, oh, dead, I don't believe it. And see, now the silver sapling uh, rescues us. Great, eh? But that's not supposed to happen. Reload. So, this time, try not to fall down the, the edge here. And maybe we'll survive. No. Wrong pouch. We store our food there. Okay. Next try. Like hell. We're going to kill this goblin. So. Well. Doesn't look like we're doing much damage here. Sword was damaged. Oh, come on, I don't believe that. Well, with a sword skill of four, we are not a good fence on. Well, we killed him, but it was kind of difficult. Current vitality 9 out of 40. Okay, so we need to do something about our health, quite badly. No? Well, I thought I would have. Okay, ignore that. Dead. Great. So what do we have here? Here be the grand staircase which descends through all depths of the abyss. Koreanos, yeah. What a pity it's caved in. But here, as we see, is a secret door. We open it. And we go down here. And we see a plague which reads Oh, very traveler, partake from these waters and feel new life course through thy veins. We drink from it and. Our hit points rise again. Aha. Uh -huh. See? Now we are back at full health. There are some of these uh, fountains on the upper levels of the abyss. Well. Yeah, we were here already. This is where uh, a part of goblins lives. But we are not going to visit them now. Back to this place where the hostile goblin attacked us and killed us in the first time. What? Okay. Come on, move it. And there's a skeleton. A hostile one. Another fight. You have attained experience level 3. That is actually nice. A badly worn leather cap, we're going to take that. A worn short sword, it's better than a badly worn short sword. So we're going to throw that away. And we don't need a dagger as well. Go away. So what do we have here? A chain cowl. Yeah, we're going to take that. 
that's better than the one we have. And let's move out here. Open the door. And out we go. Now here is another secret door and the secret door is locked and truth be told I don't know whether there is a key and probably not. So you have to kick this door open and that's what we are going to do now. And we remove the sword before attacking the door because I don't want to damage the sword. On the left side you see this, you know, this, I don't know, gem or whatever that changes its color. It shows you the strength of your attack. If it's green, that means you attack with full strength. Yellow, you attack with like half strength, and green, uh, red, is, means you you don't attack at all. So yes, it's going to take a while till the door is opened. But you can actually attack on several heights as well. This is an high attack. This is a middle attack. You see. And now it's the door open. So. This is the cell where that ragged guy was being held captive. He left his crawl. The dim witted goblins have given me the tool I needed. Tonight I shall make my escape from this filthy cell. Ragged. You know, you use this pole to pull the switch over there. You see, you can't pull the switch now. Oh, you can pull it actually. Well, why would I use a... Why would I need a pole? <laughs> I can use it from here. Okay. So, let's open this door. It's locked, but you can open it with this key. And this is some sort of riddle. It raises some pillars that you can jump onto. Now that we did it, we go down here. And jump. Oh well. That didn't work too well. Again. No! Oh, great. I jumped too far. So I probably should save again. And again, so, there's a tombstone and it says, Here lies Corianos, the master builder. Long he toiled to rework the abyss into a home fit for the coming of Kabir's colonists. Tragedy did strike before his task was done when a stone block fell upon his head. Okay, so he's dead. What do we have here? Well, a worn leather vest, we're going to take that. Wear it. Worn leather leggings, they are better than badly worn leather leggings, so we're going to take them as well. We're on eggs. Okay. I don't know what the resilience fears for, so. Hmm. And I, I don't need the eggs as well, so let's drop it. This one is quite nice here. It, uh. Unblemished magical scepter. Scepter, it increases your mana a few times. So now we're going down here again. Like this. So, no, no, that was not good. Actually, it hurts us. 
Falling down is not good. This is not Prince, but like Prince, you can get hurt. Okay. Now we return to this. And we have another arc here, so it means civilized people live behind the store. So we're going to talk with him here. A goblin named Ab. So, who go there? My name is Baron. Baron, eh? I think I heard of you. You knew here, eh? You come to the right place. Grey Goblin's the most powerful group here. Good idea to speak with Kid Catchable. He very wise and strong. Maybe you best first talk to Queen Reticle first, though. On you go. Okay, and we make a break here. Cause, well, time is up. Thanks for watching.